Hi all. Okay, let's do a group of five rated puzzles today. So this is from the play rated puzzles page of Chess Mold. So very interesting tactical training. White to play here. This looks like an old classic. It looks like the Morphe game. <laughs> in fact, against uh, in the opera, the famous opera game. So I know this. If you want uh, to try and find the solution, and you haven't seen this uh, classic game before. Well, here's your time to pause the video. Uh, you might want to pause the video. Okay, I think just just for memory, basically, Bishop takes d7, and there's a classic move here, which made this game truly immortal. And Morphy wanted to win this game quickly in the opera to get to go and sit to see the opera, not to be distracted by chess. So Queen b8, and this finished off very neatly with Rook d8. So that's the uh, Morphe versus the Allies, two partners there. Okay, let's go on to another position. Black to play. Okay, now what I can see in this position, there's a very interesting forcing move. If we look at what it does, it peels open this diagonal. We've already got this G file. So I think, um, given that's the case, uh, there's a very interesting idea here uh, to seize the moment before the Queen actually protects the Knight. I think I've seen it. Uh, if I give you 10 seconds, what would you play here? Um, okay, I think I'm changing my mind actually. <laughs> I, I was considering Queen F3 takes, E takes, E takes. No, I think this works, the check. Yeah, I think this works. Otherwise, if e takes, we might the queen might drop back. So I'm thinking queen takes f3. Okay, so now e takes, and we've got this this idealistic move, bishop h3. Okay, so let's go again. So black to play here. Ah, this looks uh, as though. Black's in a kind of stalemate. I think it's to aim for a draw or something. Maybe uh, black to play. So if we wanted the stalemate, what about rook g1? Yeah. <laughs> uh, so I guess it just carries on. I, I suppose it's perpetual on the rook. Um, so if takes, then it's stalemate. If here, I guess we just play this. And we, every time that takes, it's a stalemate. The bishop's cutting here, and we can check here, for example, stalemate. Okay, let's go on to another. They're quite easy today, it seems. Nothing struggling, nothing is causing a big struggle at the moment. Black to play. Um, Queen g6, there's a check. Can that really be the case? Queen g6 for this check. And there's Queen h3. Uh, okay, so Rook h2, the Queen's guarding f1 there. What about just queen g3 after that? The check. I can't see the check doing much after king here. Uh, so I, sp I suspect that this improvement to have the rook um, on h2. I, I think queen h3 looks attractive. Uh, there's also this bishop can pop in maybe usefully. Um, we could stop the checks altogether with bishop e3. If it takes check, and that gives us queen f1. So bishop e3 might be useful. Drag and drop there. Queen h3, rook h2, queen f1, queen g1, queen g1, mate. Yeah, I think bishop e3 if rook g2, queen h3. That avoids the checks anyway. Maybe it's the most elegant bishop e3. Yeah, indeed it was. Okay, so we can just go here. Okay, it's a bit easy today for some reason, unless it's okay in this batch. We might have to do one or two more. White play. Um. So, white play. I assume white's <laughs> going up the board. Actually, um, if white's going up the board. 
if we have a mating net construction, knight f6, then we've got rook g8 in here. So is knight f6 any good? Because we've got rook here after. Mind you, rook here, and then if bishop takes rook g8 is winning, I think. And if takes here, check, and then check, win the exchange. So maybe just rook g4. Maybe just rook g4 seems to be winning the exchange. So I think I'm going to try that. Oh, that is the move. Yeah. Okay. So Lasker and Stein. So yeah, this this check here, we win the exchange. If Bishop B three, oh, we've got Knight F six. Okay. So yeah, what's happening today? This is too quick. Ah, uh, Black to play. Maybe one or two more. Uh, I think I've seen this position. No, no, I haven't. Have I? Okay. I think I know. The solution here. If I give you guys ten seconds, starting from now. Okay, I think pins are brutal. If that directs your thinking, we can get a really brutal pin here. I think it's this move. Gets that brutal pin, and we can celebrate it with rook takes e2. So we exchange up here with the outside pass pawn. Cut off against Botvinnik. Yeah, I thought I'd seen it before. Yeah. Okay. Just, just one more. Just one more. White to play. <clears throat> well, there's a forcing move. Bishop c6 here for knight e7. In fact, where does the queen go? It doesn't look as though there's too many um, squares after bishop c6. Queen c8. There's knight e7. I can't see where the queen goes. There's a, probably a counter attack here. With h5, does that matter? I don't think it should make that much of a difference. Uh, queen takes, and we've still got stuff going on. Oh, there's knight takes. Well, h5. Okay, h5. Maybe we just move the queen back somewhere carefully, like queen f3. So I'm going to go with bishop c6. H5 was actually played. Now the queen here, knight takes f4 might ruin things because it's attacking the queen. Queen h3, knight f4 might ruin things. Queen e2, knight f4 ruins things. We've got to be careful where we move the queen here. The check, I'm not sure that's doing too much. I think queen f3 of all places just gets out of this knight f4 hitting the queen. Uh, if we go here, we're getting hit. We're getting hit. Queen h4 is another idea, I guess. Um. Yeah, maybe queen h4 as well. I don't know what black would play on queen h4. Uh, G5 we can take, knight takes. I mean queen h4 is sufficient. It looks as though that would be sufficient. On queen f3, I need to rule out queen f3. I don't know actually, queen h4, I can't see a refutation of queen h4. So I'm going to try that. It's not the correct move. Okay. Queen f3? No, it's trickier. Okay. <laughs> so I'm, I'm struggling now on this one, officially. Queen, what about just dropping the queen back to d1? Were these so terrible? It would be interesting to work it out if those were so terrible. Um, or if it's if it's noted here. Yeah. Um, okay, anyway, so, okay, just one more. We seem to be going a bit quickly today, uh, so just one more. Um, oh, okay. Yeah. I think I think I've seen something naughty that white can do here if I give you ten seconds starting from now. It looks like a lot of fun ahead. Although I can't calculate it that clearly. I don't know about you guys. I I think this looks like it sets off a forcing chain of events, Queen H seven. I don't know if it's easier just to play um well. Rook h2 is another idea, but the h pawn might move. Let's just rule out the brilliancy. Okay, it was that. So if we just play the check, 
All right, we're going to head towards this discovered check. And the king's coming to g6. So does that ruin things? Well, intriguing. Takes king g6. Wow, there's white really. There's white. White seems to be ha having um, a lot less material here. Um, let's just rule out rook h4. Right, is rook h4. Does white really win this? Rook h6 looks very forcing for bishop takes h6. Is that that's so cruel if this, if this is mating somehow? I guess it must be. Um, can't be bishop f5, king takes. I don't think I can see much else apart from this. Oh, there's rook f6 as well as another forcing move. Takes rook h6. King g7 though. So rook h6, bishop takes, rook f6. King here. And then what? Intriguing. There's rook g7. If king g7, we get the bishop in the game. That could be really dangerous. Huh. Rook g7. Is that really? It seems to work in this variation. Rook g7, rook h6. And the king's kind of stranded. But on king g7, bishop d4, king g6. And then what? Intriguing. Maybe the check here. I'm, I think I'm going to have to go with. I'm, I'm tempted for rook g7 to try it out. It's not the correct <laughs> move. <laughs> in a real game, I would have blown the game. Okay, so. Can it really be rook h6? Bishop takes, rook f6. I can't see what else white's doing here. Rook h6. <laughs> hmm. There's bishop f5. Oh, oh, isn't bishop f5? There's rook f6. Incredible. So the check. Oh, hang on. The bishop protects here, so we can play g takes. That's a point. Okay, this was a bit of a tough, tougher nut to crack. So I'm hoping you enjoyed this and got some quicker than me, etc. So you can try this resource from the Play uh, Rated Puzzles page on Chess World. So yeah, have fun. Comments or questions on YouTube. Thanks very much.